So I was digging through the web flow and GSAC forums looking for design inspiration. And I came across this site that immediately caught my eye. Check this out. Every section snaps perfectly into place as you scroll. It's buttery smooth, feels super premium and honestly, it looks like something straight out of awards. So I had to recreate it and here's my version where as you scroll, the section snaps into place smoothly like this. I've also packaged it up so you can download the full template and play around with it. All the links are in the pinned comment below. But before you dive in, watch this video first. Because while the effect looks simple, there are a few tricky parts that can break if you don't set them up right. Let's walk through it step by step. We're starting with a clean, full height layout where every section takes up exactly 100 VH. That's really important because scroll snapping only looks smooth when each section fills the screen completely. If even one is off, it feels jumpy or broken. So first, add a full width container. This will act as the master wrapper for everything we're going to build. Set the direction to column and make sure both the padding and gap are set to zero. Name this container something clear. I'm calling it all containers since every section will live inside it. Now, before we go crazy with the duplicating blocks or layering images in videos, here's a quick performance tip and trust me, it makes a difference. Whenever you're building full screen sections like this, especially with background images or videos, things can start to feel a bit heavy. So I like to just install Airlift right after setting up the layout. It's a free speed optimization plugin and it cleans up unused CSS, handles lazy loading automatically and fixes a lot of that rendering blocking stuff behind the scenes. Basically, it keeps your site smooth even if you go wild with the visuals. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to grab it. No setup needed, just install and it runs quietly in the background. Cool, now let's move on. Now let's create the first section. Inside all containers, add a full width container and set its height to 100 VH. Then go to the layout settings and set the justify content option to center. So your content is vertically centered on the screen. Head to the style tab and set a background image. Make sure the position is set to center center and the side is set to cover so it fills the screen properly. Next, go to the advanced tab and assign a CSS class called container block and set the ID as block one. Inside this container, add an image element Choose your planet image and set its size to around 60%. Then assign the ID planet. We'll animate this later with some custom CSS. Now for the bottom section that appears alongside this, go back to your main container, all containers, and add another full width container. Set this one to 100 VH as well. Set both the justify and align properties to end. That way everything will align to the bottom right of the screen. Add a background image for this container then go to the advanced tab and add a custom margin. Set the top margin to minus 100 VH. This pulls the section upward so it's visually attached to the section above, creating a seamless snapping flow. Inside this bottom container, add an inner full width container and set its width to around 25%. You can adjust this later depending on how much text you want to show. In the style tab, set the background color to black with a bit of transparency and add a border of 10 pixels. Then the advanced settings give it a right margin of 10 pixels and padding of 20 pixels on the top, 0 on the right, 20 on the bottom and 20 on the left. Inside that, drop a text editor widget, set the font family to Orbiton and increase the font size to 20 pixels. Now we are going to duplicate this layout to create additional sections. First duplicate the hero section and the bottom content container right after it. For the new hero section, Change the background from an image to a video. Then go to the advanced tab and update the ID from block one to block two. For the bottom container that comes with it, swap the text editor for an animated heading widget. Style it the same way Orbiton, white text, same size, so it fits the overall layout. You can repeat this process one more time if you want a third section. Just make sure to change the IDs, so block three and update any image or video backgrounds and text so each section feels unique. Now it's time to make this whole layout snap on scroll. Scroll down to the very bottom of the page and add an HTML widget. Paste in the scroll snap code here. Once that's done, publish your page and give it a try. Now when you scroll down, the page will snap cleanly to the next section and scrolling up brings you back to the previous one. It feels seamless, just like those high-end sites you see on awards. 
Let's wrap this up by adding some simple animations. Inside the same HTML widget, you can write a style tag and target any of your IDs. For example, to scale the first section, you would use block one and add a transformation scale with keyframes. Want to animate just the planet? Use the planet ID and apply a separate animation, maybe a float or a bounce effect. Once you're done with that, hit publish again and preview it. And there you go, a fully working, scroll snapping, animated homepage built entirely from scratch. And it feels buttery smooth. Everything is already in 100 weight sections, so the snapping behavior stays consistent. If you've skipped that and used uneven heights, it wouldn't work properly, so that part's non-negotiable. Download the template using the link in the pinned comment and tweak it however you want. But make sure you understand the structure before using it. That'll save you a ton of headaches later. Click here if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.